What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, note one. This is actually episode 15. I uploaded episode 15, and it said upload suspended, and I actually del accidentally deleted it out of my gallery. So I know it goes 14, 16, 17. This is episode 15, and I'm not going to say it again. I don't want anybody to go, well, it goes 14, 16, 17, year to tea, year to tea. I know. I know. Okay, it doesn't matter as long as the message gets across anyway. So with that being stated, I'm going to start my segment. Fix the lighting. Okay. Um, this is universal. There are jobs in the world that require a whole lot more skills and knowledge and experience. And there are the jobs that get paid more for the skills, the knowledge, and the schooling, the experience, and education that they do have. But that job that pays more and requires more education, regardless of race, gender, that job that pays $500,000 a year is just as significant as the job that pays seven twenty five dollars an hour. Let me get into what I'm saying. In the job world, regardless of orientation, race, or gender, we're all equal, regardless of pay. That doctor needs that plumber to come fix his toilet when that toilet is overflooding or broken. That plumber needs that policeman to protect him if that threat is greater than he is. That doctor needs that secretary or assistant to file his paperwork if that doctor can't do it because otherwise the doctor will become overwhelmed and you know maybe miss appointments or anything all of those people need that mailman to deliver that their bills to their house or mail to their house or greeting cards to their house because without it they either miss out on a uh somebody's greeting card or miss out on their bills and they get their lights cut off or and then the interest goes up on those bills in the job world. We're all equal. All those people go to a barber when they need their hair cut. That barber goes to that doctor when he's not feeling well, because if that barber can't go to a doctor. That barber gets sicker and worse. That janitor needs that doctor. Because if that janitor can't go to that doctor, the, doc the janitor gets worse. That doctor needs that janitor to clean up that bathroom. Because it'll become a biohazard. It'll become nasty. People won't want to be there. And that's universal too. That doctor needs that seven twenty five an hour cashier or minimum wage person. I'm just going to use cashier. That doctor needs that seven twenty five an hour cashier to be there to ring up his stuff so he can go home and enjoy the product that he just bought. That doctor can't leave that store with that with those with those items without paying for it because otherwise this that's stealing. That manager of that store needs that seven twenty five an hour cashier to be there when she, he or she is scheduled to be there because if not, that manager has to go out of the way to fix a problem that already had a solution to it, which was schedule that person to work that day, that time for that amount of money to bring up that doctor so that doctor can enjoy his product that he just bought. So if you're working seven twenty five an hour, don't let a doctor look down upon you. And if you're a doctor, don't look down on a janitor or a seven twenty five an hour cashier because you need that person whether you know it or not. In some way, shape, or form, that person is contributing their part in society in the workforce world. You know what I'm saying? We're all equal when it comes to work. We all need each other when it comes to working and... We're all human. So with that being stated. Yeah.
I can run with that. I can run with this. With that being stated, we're all equal in the job force world. So don't let anybody look down upon you regardless of your position in life. And don't be snooty to somebody who may be making more than you. I can't say doing better in life than you because how you choose to define what's good in your life is only up to you. You could be dirt poor and enjoy everything that you have. There are some rich people who are depressed. So let's just stop there. But also this is a note to make the best of where you are in life too. So if you're making seven twenty five an hour, make the best of that seven twenty five an hour. If you're a doctor, be that doctor. If you're a mailman, be that mailman. I'm Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. I'm signing out.